1961, Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, I think that's how you pronounce it? Insert Google pronunciation here. Khrushchev. Anyway, he gifted John F. Kennedy with a dog called Pashinka. But how does this little dog have links to space travel? And why were the CIA so concerned that she might be a spy? The beginning of the 60s was the start of the great space race. The USA and the Soviet Union competing head to head to see who could reach the stars first. The Soviets launch Sputnik in 1957. The USA creates NASA in response. We all know how this story ends with America emerging as victors in 1969, winning the race and putting the first man on the moon. But this story is about the dogs that helped us get there and how one of their descendants made it all the way to the White House. At a state dinner in Vienna, Jackie Kennedy spoke to the Soviet premier. Khrushchev? Khrushchev? Something like that. Anyway, she spoke to him about a dog called Strelka. Now, Strelka was a dog who had travelled to space aboard the Karabal Sputnik 2, along with friend Belka. This mission was groundbreaking. These two dogs became some of the first higher living organisms to survive orbit in outer space. They were accompanied by a range of animals, including a grey rabbit. These were some of the first Earth-born creatures to go into orbit and return alive. Quite impressive for two dogs and a rabbit. The Soviet Premier decided to find and gift the Kennedys with a descendant of Strelka, and that came in the form of Pashinka the daughter of a dog astronaut. She was taken to the White House and given to JFK. But that isn't the end of her story. Although a nice gesture, the Americans were suspicious of this tiny Soviet dog. They were concerned that she had been planted in the White House as a spy. She was examined by the CIA and the Walter Reed Army Medical Center. They did sonograms to see if she was fitted with a listening device implant. She was x-rayed. They even screened her with a magnetometer. Surprise, surprise, they didn't find anything. But then again, the best spies never get caught. But this super secret agent dog proved that old dogs can learn new tricks when the White House kennel manager taught her to climb the ladder of the Kennedy Children's Playhouse and slide out the other side, whilst being bribed with peanuts, of course. Not very Russian spy of her. If you like this video and you want to hear more weird, wild and wonderful dog stories, let us know in the comments below. Bye! Oh, I'm in pain. <laughs>